this can upset many of you, probably. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in case you have never been to this channel before, I'm Jack from Phantasma Power and almost good to have you here. Now this is just going to be a bit of a talking video. If you don't want to watch just me babble on on the subject which I'm going to talk about, which is in the title, then please just go watch a, um, uh, another video as I have the playlist. You can navigate through if you want to watch something else, but it's up to you. But it's on a subject which I really want to talk about related to these things, you know. And there's a few things in here which are just going to be my opinions, and I will state they're just my opinions. But this is something which is going to be going over just factual, like a spade's a spade, a duck's a duck. You know, if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. Anyway, what I'm getting at is these things. So, what is this? So, this is what people will call a portal, a wonder box, you know, whatever. Just you've probably seen them on Huff Paranormal, whatever. I've spoken about these kind of subjects before, but not in detail. And, you know, a lot will say, you know, it's a portal to another dimension. You know, it's it draws spirits in closer and so on. And it's like this great big magical mythical box. No, it isn't. It really, really, really isn't. And I'm going to just go through this and explain why. All this thing is, in basics, is a guitar speaker guitar pedals and an aux cable and that's pretty much it you connect it to a spirit box and off you go that is basically all this thing is but yeah you know people some will call it um, a decorated guitar amp but that is essentially what it is you know but I'm not trying to downplay it I mean this is just my opinion I want to get this out of the way just very quickly but this is just my opinion but I do believe there is some benefits to some noise reduction little bit of reverb very small cases though at like not crazy levels or whatever so it's so um uh unrecognizable that you can't really identify any words or any phrases that are coming out it just sounds like a garbled mess you know people buying all these re really ridiculous expensive reverbs when it's just not necessary you know and spending all this money to make one or to buy one off some certain people which they sell for stupendously stupid amounts so, but all that is, like I said, guitar speaker, guitar pedals. It's pretty much it. But this, realistically, no different from this. Yeah, it's not got all the fancy stuff on it, like the crystal, whatever. That's just for decoration. Or the lights or whatever. This is just a speaker. But this, no different to this, if you think about it. So, these are not magical, mythical boxes or whatever, you know, you have guys like Huff or like Cody ATC that will say they are magical portals or whatever to the dead and so on, but all they really are, you know, people get so defensive about these things and I don't really understand why, just because, you know, they know what this thing is, so it just seems to be, you know, all these things are you know like when Huff Paranormal says that he invented this he did not invent anything on this just let's just make that clear did not invent anything on this whatsoever these are all made by their respective companies they're all made from guitar manufacturers from music creation and so on the amplifiers everything is made for that specific reason made by their respective companies but all he's done is just smash them together put some color on them a crystal whatever and just calls it something else but he's not the inventor he's just taken off the shelf products and put them together like this exactly the same as what i've done exactly the same as many other people have done you know but yeah it just seems to be that because maybe they're on the huff train so hard or whatever that you know after that after they've done the exact same thing buying it making it whatever um that they seem to forget that it's guitar equipment they seem to just forget that or gloss over it and i don't really understand why it's like this weird huff syndrome i don't get it i don't understand it but um you know and these things you know when some will say they're ridiculously expensive to make no they're not they're not ridiculously expensive to make whatsoever this is like a couple hundred if that and you know i did a video a while back when i was saying about not to be scammed by certain prices which people put up on these things when they sell them for ridiculous amounts in the grands even though they don't cost anywhere near that much like i think there was like a wonder box that huff made or i should say made or assembled i should say probably correct term um and assembled that and so i had a sticker price tag on it of like a few grand 
which it don't cost anywhere near that amount. And I researched all the different pedals, the amplifier and so on, and I think it came to like 600 and something, I can't remember. But it was nowhere near a thousand dollars, nowhere near. So, you know, it's just don't be fooled by those kind of scams, you know. And, you know, when there's people that say it draws spirits in closer, that it's like a magnet to them, that they use it. The, no, this is not a spirit box. This is not a spirit box at all. This is a speaker. It's like an add-on. So if I just get a radio and I'll explain. Now, this is just the first one I pulled out of the drawer, but this is a Jensen hacked radio. So what it's done is basically hacked to scan at continuous rate, just keep scanning without muting. But it's not a spirit box per se, but for this argument, it pretty much is. But this is your spirit box. This is your audio source. This is where the audio comes out of. No audio comes out of this. No audio comes out of this whatsoever. Audio comes from this, not this. You know, this is just an add-on. And you know, there's the argument that these are not necessary. Like you don't have to go out of your way to make one or buy one. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's not completely necessary. But I personally do like to use it from time to time. You know, as I do believe there is certain benefits, like especially with this thing, this is friggin' loud, and I find that just with a speaker on its own, I can't hear really anything, even if anything is coming through. But I just find with the smallest amounts, you know, you don't have to go ridiculous with noise reduction or reverb, it's not necessary. Um, and sometimes I don't even have noise reduction at all. And I just find it does have some benefits there. And you can argue with me as much as you want, but we're entitled to our own opinions. I am entitled to my own opinion. Even though some people will argue with me on this and say, you know, I'm wrong because if I don't follow it to Huff's letter or Huff's T, then I will basically be a hater. I'm not hating. I'm just, I'm, criti I'm criticizing, yes, but I'm not hating. You know, debate is not hate. You know, this is something which the paranormal needs to get out of. Debating is not hating. If we can debate in the comments and have conversations, we can actually civilly talk about it instead of just saying, you know, you're wrong or whatever. But, you know, let's just debate, let's talk. You know, I don't see anything wrong with that. But I'm just stating something that's fact. This is not a spirit box. This is a speaker. This is an amplifier. And let's put it this way. You know, when people say that these is made for spirit communication and so on, it's not made for spirit communication. There is no difference from me, well, the only difference between me plugging this into it and plugging a guitar into it, that's the only difference. I could plug a guitar into it, I could plug a spirit box into it. This is made for music, it's made for guitars, it's made for that. This is what it's made for. You know, and when Huff will say that he invented all this, he never invented it. These were around, pedals and all that were around way before Huff, you know. So, there's that argument completely gone out of the window straight away. Nothing was invented by him. He assembled it, yes, but decided to change the name and decided to make it his own, even though it's not his own, but you get what I mean. But, you know, musical artists have been using these for ages. So, really, the only difference in their use is an instrument and a spirit box that's the only difference that is it but um and like that i don't think it does anything whatsoever and to be honest it, it's just decorational whether you believe in crystal energy or not it's really up to you and if anything if the audio manipulation theory is true i mean we don't know that it's true you know it's a very good theory though but they would likely use that not that it's only where the sound's coming out of but this is the main tool it's the main tool and always will be like i said all this is is just a speaker and pedals it's not a magical spirit box or whatever this is not a spirit box you know it's exactly what it is speaker guitar pedals a spade's a spade a duck's a duck you know <laughs> let's just call a spade a spade it's exactly what it is you can try and argue with it justify it all you want but it does not change what it is. It doesn't change it. This, really, no different to this. It's just got pedals on it. Another good selling point when Huff would sell these things as well and constantly says this and advertises this throughout the videos is that pretty much this will change like the way you communicate, change the rate of the communication and so on. You know, and said so like, 
you always have success and so on with these things. No, you won't. These do not affect whatsoever the rate of communication. Spirits speak when they want to speak. It doesn't matter what kind of gadget you have. You're not always going to have success with spirit communication. Either they want to speak or they don't. Sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. It's just the way it goes. You're not always going to have success. Spirits don't speak 100% of the time. I could do seven sessions in seven days and only one of those days could be successful, what you would call communication. And this is just the realities of it, you know? And I am sorry if anybody gets upset or whatever by this, but let's call a spade a spade, you know? We can debate in the comments, that is fine. You know, I'm open to debate. I'm not like, this is not hating. I'm just stating the fact of what this thing is. That's it. And yes, I do believe, I'm not disproving it, I do believe it has its advantages. This is just my personal opinion, as I stated earlier. You know, this is just my personal opinion. Um, but for me, it's not absolutely 100% essential. You don't need one of these. You don't have to have one. If you're happy just using a speaker, then just use a speaker. That is totally fine. As far as improving communication or improving the rates of communication, all this really does it affects the way the sound is coming out. That's what that does. But it does not change anything to do with rate of communication. It's not gonna make it better in that sense. It's not gonna make it any better than if you're just using a spirit box with a Bluetooth speaker, for example. It's still gonna be the exact same. You're still gonna get the same rate of communication and so on. And then some people say, you know, about this connection or whatever. Personally, I think people maybe might have a natural connection to spirit, but you know, it's kind of open for interpretation, but that's just about it. You know, but this only changes the way the sound comes out, the way you hear it. And that's the only uh, real difference, you know, with um, noise reduction, reverb, so on. But then, you know, whenever, you know, and Pete, he always advertises all the time that, you know, the clearest communication ever, and then you listen to it, and it just sounds like a garbled mess, which does not make any sense. Like, you kind of just contradict yourself there, so I don't really get that or understand it. And there's, like, the other thing. Especially, I don't put subtitles, um, the captions, unless I feel that it is completely clear, you know. And whenever he does his, Try covering up the, even you can do it with any video, even do it with my videos if you like. Cover up the subtitles and see what you hear. Because sometimes I have um, people that very kindly, um, they put the time slot and say, you, you, Jack, you said you heard this, but this is kind of what I heard, or I heard something different. And that's totally fine, you know, feel free to comment that, you know, I would love that, you know, because it really does help out. But... You know, cover up the subtitles, see what you really hear, because it probably isn't what you heard sometimes, especially with him. So I, I don't trust the guy, never will. So, but anyway, this is just my little rant, whatever you want to call it on spirit boxes. I'm sorry if you get offended or whatever, or think I'm a hater or whatever. I'm not a hater, I'm just calling a spade a spade. I've gotten plenty of like, hate myself for like this kind of stuff, but at the same time, I don't care for being liked on YouTube. I'm not here to make friends. You know, if you don't like me, whatever. You know, I you don't pay rent in my house. You don't have any bearing in my life. So it doesn't really matter to me. So uh, feel free to drop whatever in the comments. But it's just my little chat or whatever. If you did find any um, information in this that was um, helpful, please do let me know. As you know... I really want to just like be transparent with this and just say my opinions as well. And we can also debate in the comments and have a chat. That is no problem. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Take care, everybody.